Oscar, what's going on? We cannot continue our journey, Kate Walker. The passenger car is stuck. That's what happens when amateurs manhandle my engine. What are we going to do? There's an uncoupling system on the car. I'm going to open the access panel on the locomotive. Call me when you find it. Once the panel is open, you will just have to activate the mechanism to unhitch the car. So we're going to leave this car and everything in it behind us? This is a sacrifice we must make, Kate Walker. Regrettable, I know. Okay, I'm off then. Wait for me before you set off again, okay? I will never leave without you, Kate Walker. There's no way I can get to the mechanism without somehow keeping this panel open. Kate Walker? Oscar, I'm in position. Very well, Kate Walker. I will trigger the mechanism to open the panel. And you must activate the mechanism to unhitch the car. Agreed? Roger that, Oscar. Is it really Kate Walker we're chasing here, sir? You're pissing me off, John. What are you trying to say? Kate Walker, the lawyer. The one with the brilliant career prospect. That Kate Walker's dead. We're chasing some other kid. Someone we don't know anymore. I've got the family on my back every day, John. Kate Walker's got to come home. Did that Yuki get to? Yes, Oscar. Kate Walker. Have you heard that plaintive howling? Be on your guard. There is surely some wild beast stalking the land. I heard it, but it didn't sound much like an animal to me. All the same, I'd rather stay here and watch the train, if you don't mind. No problem, Oscar. I understand.
No point doing that. No point doing that. That's those dreadful brothers' snow bike. <sighs> Waste of time, it's too slippery. That's those dreadful brothers' snow bike. That's those dreadful bro- That's those dreadful brothers' snow bike. No point doing that. Hey, hi there. <gasps> Whoa, easy cowboy. Igor, anyone there? <clears throat> Where's Hans? Hans? The old guy? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You kidnapped him. We left him on the snow bike. Me and Ivan. We went up a hill. Then I came down. Old man was gone. Vanished. But that's impossible. He was very weak. It was like I say, lady. It's the truth. What's gotten into you, Igor? Have you lost the plot? I... I don't know. I'm cold. And I'm hungry. And there are spirits. Hey, come on. 
Calm down, Igor. You know, that noise, it's just the wind. Breath of death. Wind of devil. No, just the wind. I think you'll find blowing through the totem making a weird noise. Pity. Pity poor Igor's soul. Igor don't want to die here. Is your snow bike still working? Oh yeah. Lucky. Without that. I'd like to borrow your snow bike to get me to the top of the hill. Oh no, slope too slippery. Never get there. You need go up on foot with crampons. And you do have crampons. You can lend them to me. I can't do that, lady. Ivan would get angry. Why did you steal the train? Ivan said it'd take us to Ivory, that we'd be rich princes. Hey, why are you still here, Igor? Evil spirits holding me. They're very angry. They want to keep me. But all the evil spirits have gone, Igor. Huh? Yeah, I told them to skedaddle. No, oh, no. Oh. The spirits are screaming. Listen for yourself. They've all gone. Uh, no. Hey, but I can't hear them. Like I said, look, maybe you should skedaddle here too while you can. Thank you, Miss Lady. Thank you. Time for Igor to go far away. I'm cold. I'm hungry. I go home. But where are you going? Bye, lady. These should get me up the hill. So here she is, Kate Walker. <laughs> Brave Kate. <laughs> Walker. What have you done with Hans? Where is he? The old crazies disappeared. The vanishing gnome trick. <laughs> uh, really? With your brother Igor, I suppose? Huh. <laughs> Blundering fool. So he let you pass. Damar's abandoned his guard duty then. Your brother has decided he was better off without you. He has abandoned you, Ivan. What? He's gone? Nah. <laughs> if he has, then good riddance. The tub lard only ever tied me down anyway. So tell me, where is Hans Varlberg? I told you. I don't know. And what's more, I don't care. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps he was eaten by a bear. What's it to me? You're a disgusting creature. Why are you doing this? White gold, sweet lips. Mammoth ivory. This old crazy was obliging enough to show me the way. <laughs> and our riches and glory are all mine. <laughs> Listen, Ivan. The ivory doesn't interest me. All I want is to find haunts. Let me go. No way, my little rosy bud. You'd shoot me in the back first chance you get. And do you want to tell me why you're sitting around here? Your hobbit friend says the legendary Yukor village is someplace round here. So you see my lovely cherry pop? I shit, I watch, and I wait. But Hans is in danger. Do I look like I care? <laughs> I told you to stay put. Hey, watch it! Shh. 
stay where you are. It's okay, it's okay. I'll stay right here. I said back. Don't make me get nasty, girl. Stay where you are. It's okay, it's okay. I'll stay right here. Oscar, I've got Ivan here right in front of me, and he ain't looking very friendly. You've got to come and help me, please, Oscar. I fear that I hardly constitute a force of dissuasion, Kate Walker. I don't care, Oscar. Use your head. I, uh, oh, my, uh, I have to guard the train, Kate Walker. Oscar, get up here now. Up there? Oh, but there is all this snow, Kate Walker. As you know, it is most distressing for my wheel work. Oscar, this man is ready to crack my skull open, so I'm asking you to come and help me, or you'll be scooping my brains up with your metal fingers. Uh, I will see what I can do, Kate Walker. Well, do quick, Oscar. What the hell is that? Anyone tries anything funny, and the consequences will be very messy. What does this imbecile want? This sled's not going to be moved either. Nice try, Streetwalker. But this time you've gone too far. Your journey stops here. Our detective is on her trail, Mrs. Walker. You'll see your daughter again in just a few days. You've been telling me that for weeks, Marson. Mrs. Walker... Come on, out with it. You've no idea where she is. Oh, Kate, my little baby vanished. <laughs> she... maybe something's happened to her. <laughs> Mrs. Walker, please. What gave you the twisted idea to send an innocent girl into the Siberian wasteland? It wasn't me Marson, who... I hold you personally responsible for the disappearance of my daughter. You hear me? You'll be hearing from me. Mrs. Walker, listen to me. I have heard enough, Marson.